Thousands of foxes attacked the livestock and the people in Australia. It caused many farms in Australia to lose millions of dollars, forcing the government to take measures to deal with the fox species. Join Mouse Farm to experience the journey of dealing with this fox. Now let's get to watch this video. How do Australian farmers deal with thousands of foxes attacking livestock In Australia, foxes are not only a common predator, but also a serious threat to the agricultural industry, especially chicken and sheep farms. Fox attacks usually take place at night, a time when chickens rest peacefully. Every night, foxes can kill many livestock creatures creating great economic and spiritual losses for farmers. Areas near forests or wild areas are often places where foxes often appear and attack. They choose to wander into farms to hunt and search for food. Foxes are intelligent animals that work in groups and often travel long distances in search of food. Their territoriality and flexible hunting abilities increase their ability to greatly impact their surroundings. Foxes are also omnivores, able to choose between meat, fruits and vegetables. The diversity of fox diets creates challenges to efforts to control and prevent their overgrowth. They have the ability to hunt a variety of prey, from mice, rabbits, to birds, increasing the difficulty of controlling them. Fox danger in Australia is becoming a serious and heartbreaking issue, as one particular attack raises concerns about personal safety and causes concentration in the community. This is not only a danger to pets or livestock, but also possess a challenge to social security. In 2023, a 50-year-old woman named Mary had a terrifying experience when a fox attacked in the city of Melbourne. In the chaos of the attack, Mary was exposed to the fox ferocity, leaving her with severe injuries to her neck and arms. Fortunately, she survived, but the physical and psychological consequences still follow along, increasing her daily feelings of fear and pain. The use of spring traps to control fox populations is an important practice in the Australian agriculture. Spring traps are not only highly effective, but also simple and easy to use, and can be reused many times. To implement this strategy, farmers need to prepare carefully with tools such as spring traps, bait, and rope. Spring traps come in different types, depending on the size and weight of the fox. The trap setting process is simple, but requires caution and strategy. Farmers need to choose trap locations that maximize their ability to catch foxes. 
usually on the regular routes or near areas with plenty of food. By setting traps about two to three times per week, Australian farmers have achieved significant results in controlling the fox population. According to an Australian government study, fox numbers have decreased by about 30% over the past five years, mainly thanks to the deployment of spring traps. However, this process also requires attention and compliance with certain principles during the trapping process. Safety is always the top priority. It should be placed in a safe place, out of reach of children and pets. Additionally, checking the trap regularly is important to ensure it's working properly and is not causing injury to humans or other animals. Finally, the re Fox hunting is not only a recreational activity, but also an important means of controlling fox populations, especially in areas with wildlife management problems. In agricultural areas such as New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland, where foxes often damage farms, hunters need to have their hand on their hunting equipment, such as hunting rifles, scopes, and suitable accessories to access the environment. Rural school. In large cities such as Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane, where foxes can occur near residential areas, it is important to be prepared with safe urban hunting and trapping techniques. forest and wilderness areas, such as the Great Diving Range and the Queensland Rainforest, require flexible and effective hunting techniques. Hunters need to be able to move flexibly in this diverse environment, with tools such as hunting guns that can be used remotely with safety equipment. To carry out an effective fox hunt, the hunters need to prepare a series of tools and take careful steps. First of all, choosing a hunting location is very important. It needs to be a place where foxes frequently appear, such as a walkway, barn entrance, or an area where there is plenty of food. Burrowing is a common tactic, and using dogs to chase foxes after they leave their burrows is also an important part of the hunting process. Fox shooting grounds are considered an effective way to control the fox population. Australian government research has shown that fox numbers have decreased by about 20% over the past five years as a result of these measures. This efficiency is mainly due to hunts being carried out in a systemic and a planned manner. The combination of expert location selection, hunting skills, and the use of quality gear is the key to achieving success in controlling fox populations and protecting the environment in which they live. Have you ever been involved in dealing with foxes? Please comment below in the comment section if you dealt with any fox before in your whole life. Thank you so much for watching this video until here. For now. Allow me to let you continue watching the rest of the video.
these pigs roam the fields completely freely, taking advantage of and destroying the months of farming effort that farmers have put in to prepare for the harvest season. This situation not only harms agricultural output, but can also seriously impact local food supplies and agricultural resources. Another impact of the harmful wild boar situation is the heavy pollution of many water sources. Wild boars roaming freely in search of food can lead to digging deeper into the ground and making water sources dirtier and more polluted. This threatens the sustainability of water source systems and ecosystem structures and creates an additional challenge facing farmers and resource managers. Wild boar hunting in the fields of America is truly a special and indispensable event in the agriculture and hunting culture of this country. Hunters from everywhere gather in the vast grasslands to participate in this sweetie hunt. They not only bring professional and modern hunting equipment, but also unite with the farmers here to negotiate and discuss thoroughly about tactics and how to conduct the hunt. Consensus in planning and implementation is an indispensable factor, ensuring that no wild boar has a chance to escape from the information network and tactics of the hunting team. Hunters must know how to use terrain and information from local farmers to predict wild boar behavior. Hunters require extreme patience and discipline to participate in this hunt. The convoys began to enter the field, each person choosing his own position to observe and hunt most effectively. Hunting dogs play an important role in finding traces of wild boars. They are ready to chase and attack their prey before it has a chance to escape. Hunters in strategic locations will ensure to not have a single pig escaping their skillful hands using sophisticated hunting tools. It is expected that by 2022, there will be about 9.5 million wild boars captured in the U.S. Even though that, the wild boar population is still increasing rapidly, so a series of other measures must be introduced. Wild boars escapes into the surrounding forests, taking advantage of the protection of the natural environment. They are very smart and know how to wait for an opportunity before returning to the field. The wild boar's natural techniques have evolved to reflect their keenness in detecting threats from humans. With the intelligence of wild boars, hunting becomes more difficult
These wild boars will be processed and given to other areas as gifts. So since these solutions have been affecting and preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.